Alexander Hamilton was a lawyer, soldier, and statesman. He was a strong proponent of the Federalist government, which states that there should be a large central government to control the United States. He was born between 1755 and 1757 in the British West Indies, and was abandoned by his father because he was the result of an affair. He grew up without privilege, but came to the United States and enrolled in King's College, or what's now Columbia University. He became heavily involved in the politics of New York during his time in college. When the Revolutionary War started, he fought under George Washington as a lieutenant colonel and married Miss Schuyler, who was the daughter of a very famous and rich general. After the war ended, he became a delegate to the Continental Congress as well as a member of the Constitutional Convention and wrote many of the Federalist Papers. He was the first Secretary of Treasury under George Washington's presidency. He created the first national bank to collect and distribute money over the colonies and wanted to end the national debt. After he got out of the president's cabinet, he backed Jefferson in the election of 1800, which was the first of many political feuds between him and Aaron Burr, who eventually ended his life in a duel. The political rivalry between Aaron Burr and Alexander Hamilton is long and tedious. It all started when Aaron Burr beat General Philip Schuyler for a seat for the Senate in 1791. This sparked the political rivalry which will last over a decade. Six years later, Aaron Burr lost a re-election race to Schuyler. He blamed Hamilton for ruining his reputation and turning voters against him. Aaron Burr ran for president in 1800. Since Burr and Thomas Jefferson had the same amount of votes, the vote was decided by the House of Representatives. Alexander Hamilton vocalized his support for Jefferson, which secured Burr's defeat, causing him to settle for vice president instead. Today I'm challenging Hamilton to a duel because he stole my honor. So you know, it's, ooh, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of funny, you know, um, my son died dueling with another man. I fought a lot, of, a lot of men in my lifetime. Aaron Burr is one of those men, but if I fight him now, it's like I'm dishonoring my son's death. But he gonna die! Um, don't tell anyone, but I might botch the shot. Are you sure? No. All right, 10 paces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fire. Beautiful morning. How could this happen to me? I've made my mistakes. Got nowhere to run. The night goes on. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't get to a hospital. No. He's got some little cats. Oh god. god. Oh, oh, you no. monster. Oh, you oh, god, play god, shit no. hospital to your right. He got <laughs> shot. Oh He's no. Done. Get oh, oh, He oh, needs oh, some milk. milk. Oh no, I've killed him. Burr, we gotta get out of here.
Oh no, he's dead. Oh, uh, the patient died from a shot to the third or second false rib. So, Mr. Burr, how do you feel about the duel? I feel pretty good. Uh, that was a good shot. Do you feel guilty at all by killing a fa founding father? No. He was a jerk. I see. So, what are your plans? Well, I think I'm going to go down south with General Wilkinson and start my own nation. There's really no more room for me here. But, Mr. Burr, weren't you and Hamilton friends? Well, that's an interesting point, Tobias. I think it all started going downhill when he kicked my father-in-law out of office and made sure that I wouldn't win the presidency. But what really nailed in the coffin was when he got me out of the gubernatorial race of New York. So, Mr. Burr, what's next for America? Well, that's an interesting question, too, Tobias. I think that reform in the way that we elect our presidents is the next way to go. We need to make sure that the president and vice president aren't political enemies so that they can make real progress for the American people. And I also believe that we should have looser gun laws so that I can kill more people in duels. In 1805, Burr thoroughly discredited, made a plot with James Wilkinson, a commander-in-chief of the U.S. Army, to seize the Louisiana Territory and establish an independent empire, which Burr presumably would lead. He contacted the British government for help and pleaded for assistance in the scheme, but they refused. Later, when border trouble with Spanish Mexico heated up, Burr and Wilkinson conspired to seize territory in Spanish America for the same purpose. In the fall of 1806, Burr led a group of well-armed colonists towards New Orleans, prompting an immediate U.S. investigation. General Wilkinson, in an effort to save himself, turned against Burr and told Thomas Jefferson about the plan. In February 1807, Burr was finally arrested in Louisiana for treason and sent to Virginia to be tried in court. In September, he was acquitted on a technicality. Nevertheless, public opinion condemned him as a traitor and he fled to Europe. He later returned to private life in New York, the murder charges against him forgotten.